Get out your paints and paper. We're going to paint a beach ball and you can do it too. We're going to do it real fast, so let's get started. You really don't even need a photo to, to do this painting. Make a circle and then make that beach ball shape and just copy. My, it's basically just a drawing of, of a round circle with another round circle in it and then cut into slices. So, and you can make the ball any colors you want to. You can have a lot of fun with this. Maybe you want to make it polka dotted. Maybe you want to make it striped. Do whatever you want to do. The point is just that you're going to make some pretty colors in that ball shape and then we're going to put water around it. You know, I talk about islands surrounded by oceans painting, which is something I try to avoid, but in this case, we're doing it purposely today. We want to have water surrounding this beach ball, and we want to make it look like it's going to float. The illusion of making, it's going to, making it float is because the shadow underneath that ball is going to be darker than anything else in the painting, and that's going to create this sense of space. So you can do this. Get out those paints. <laughs> and start. So there's the beach ball, a little bit of a highlight at the top. I'm working from two different photographs, but like I said, you can work from anything you want to work from. Now basically the water is just a bunch of weird shapes. They're kind of rounded shapes, and so I'm going to uh, take out my big brush and just start making shapes. What characterizes it as water in a pool is that there tend to be these sort of whitish highlight lines between those shapes. So I'm not painting exact shapes. I'm just kind of looking at the shapes in general and putting those in. And you can do this. I promise you, you can do this. And if you, and actually, if you don't want to do the shapes, you probably can put, just put in a wash of uh, cerulean blue, perhaps. Uh, and that, that'll be, that'll work fine too. It's going to be that dark shadow underneath that makes it look like there's actually uh, something floating on the surface. So, this is about as fast, and I don't, I don't want to say easy. I don't ever think painting is easy, but I would say that this is fun, and I do think that anybody can do this. You can do it, you know, maybe you want to make a card for somebody, so you can do it really small, or you can make it larger if you want to. But I wanted that feeling of floating, and that's what this does. You can see the ball almost looks like it's floating a little bit already. Now what I'm doing is putting a little bit of a second coat in some places because I just want to pump up the color. It's not going to change the value. It's not going to change how light or dark anything is. And of course, anytime there's uh, something that's surrounded by uh, light, there's going to be some reflection. So I threw a little bit of green in the water too, and there's that dark shadow. And now, last of all, I think I just put in a couple of other what appear to be darker shapes to me. But I could have left it just the way it is too. So like I said, get out your paints, Draw a circle, draw a small circle inside that circle, and then make your slices of the beach ball. And go have fun, just have fun. And I really think that you can paint this up. And it's I'm going to put it on my uh, wall just so I can look at it and kind of get in the feeling of summer. So um, as always, remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, master value mix for color. And if you want to send me your efforts or join me um, on Facebook, I'd love to see what you did. And now we're going to pull back just for a second, because what always happens, you know, when you pull back a little bit is you create, you can finally see kind of what your efforts have done. You can see the depth. So one second and it'll pull back. Let's see. There we go. We pull back and there's a ball falling, uh, floating on the surface. I guess I do like some of those shapes. So go ahead and put a wash in if you want to have calmer waters or throw in some shapes if you would want to have some shapey water like I have. So like I said, remember to keep the white your paper white, your paint's wet, master value mix for color, and paint this beach ball. You can do it. And please join my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.